Hey, remember, remember that parasocial relationship thing that I literally screamed about on Friday night's show? You know, where I said that uh, people are giving up their emotional and mental uh, <clears throat> sovereignty to online personalities or other people, no different than OnlyFans girls or football teams or whatever. And they basically, yeah, the parasocial relationship, that's what happens, right? People get so wrapped up into the idea that if I do this thing that uh, to hurt this other guy, that's going to mean that I'm more successful when it doesn't, right? Your success is not tied to anybody else's success, okay? Your it's, you know, it's why I would tell people, like, I, I do appreciate everybody being here. But at the end of the day, if anybody ever wants to, like, go after me online, don't start a war over it. Okay? Because that stuff is not worth your time, right? It's not worth your time, your effort, or your energy. If I feel the need to respond to it and tell people that they're dumb, I will. Okay? But you have your life to live, don't dedicate your life to my business, like as in like the business of a drink with crazy here. Don't dedicate your hate to somebody else. Like, don't do that. You have your goals and the things that you're going for. I am at the end of the day, a talking head that I'm looking to provide some entertainment with you guys and talk about the things that I enjoy talking about, right? That's what I want to do. But the idea that you're gonna go out right? You're going to start a war. You're going to dedicate hours of your life to this thing. Again, it's the parasocial relationship, right? It is the same phenomena. The, the two things that scare the hell out of me seeing this in the indie comics space, okay? That people are, uh, again, that people are, are like, oh, if I if I do this thing and I hate this guy, like I'll get the praise from I'll get the praise from the from the, uh, the rest of these nameless, faceless people that I don't know, or maybe even I'll get a shout out on a live stream, right? Be, and, and like, and I'll be one of the boys and the, the guy, and, and it's the same thing with guys giving money to OnlyFans girls. Oh man, if I just give her more money, maybe, oh, maybe she'll just appreciate me more. What, like, again, it's the same thing. You know what else, you know, what, even worse than that is I, one of the first times that I think I remember hearing about something that just scared the hell out of me. Uh, and I realized it was a parasocial relationship. Uh, now, this was years and years ago before I think parasocial relationship was even a thing. Uh, there were two dudes at a football game that uh, beat to death a man in front of his son because they were the the assaulters were there for the home team and the dad and the son were there for the away team. And they took exception to that guy being there for the away team. So they went and they beat that guy to death in front of his kid. That's how far the parasocial relationship can go. We have to defend the honor of our stop. Do not let it go that far, right? And as somebody who I thought it was idolatry at the time, it's not, it's not idolatry, okay? It is the feeling that you are, you as a person with your comments and things like that are a consequential part of that online personality, right? You are, are like you, you're like you greatly affect everything that they do. You're greatly a part of their lives. You're greatly a part. And a lot of times, especially with these bigger people, they, they, people might not even know who you are. That's be very, very cognizant about this stuff. It's not worth it. It's not worth going to jail over, right? It's not worth hating people over because again, their success and their failure. And here's the scary part. There are people out there who recognize that the parasocial relationship is going on and they recognize that they have people who have given their, per, uh, that, that have given, I guess, their identity up to this other person in some aspect and they use that and they make money off of that. That's scary. And it's not just on OnlyFans and it, it is, it is everywhere be cognizant of this yeah again in the yeah it's it's crazy um it might well yeah and i i the desperate for attention thing yes i think that is part of it that does lead into the desperate for attention thing but again uh like i experienced a a, a mild version of this when i was in um when i was doing like all my airsoft stuff like at the time the colorado airsoft community was fairly small right um i have 600 700 players over the whole state 
uh, because it was that small, I got known by a lot of people, actually. Like, there were there were times, like, I couldn't show up to the field without people coming up to me and saying, dude, I love your video. Like, that was a really cool feeling, right? But I, and I, I shared this. Uh, it's why I was like, watch out for the dangers of online communities. It's why I did this a while back. But I, I this guy, like, I did something, and, like, when I was doing, like, Facebook live streams at the time. Right. I was doing Facebook live streams at the time because that's where like I had more people on Facebook than I that would join on Facebook than I would on YouTube. So I just was like, oh, I'm just going to stream over here. And I did something or maybe we were acting like I, me and my buddies were sitting there drinking and just acting like a-holes. And this one guy came up like and he started like yelling at me. Like, you need to stop doing this. Like, this is a, like he just lost his mind at me. And I was like, dude, like I'm not. Like, there are so many people that enjoy what I'm doing. Like, I'm not, and he's like, well, but I, I've been here and he's like, and I'm older than you. And I, I just like, look, like, I'm just trying to give you guidance that like, he thought he was a father figure to me and he wasn't, he was just a guy that I played airsoft with. I mean, he was older than me. He was in his fifties or sixties, you know, and it was weird. It was weird that he thought he had more of an effect in my life. And I was like. I, I thought it was a no, no, it's a parasocial relationship thing. And these are the dangers of doing this stuff, right? These are the dangers of going live all the time. These are the dangers. And it's, and I, like, I'm seeing it more and more. And it's why I'm really talking about it. I talked about it on Friday. Like I said, just it's, it's, and I don't, I, no, just no life news who get, a, who need to get a life. I don't think that's the case. Creative Welshman. For instance, how about this? How many of you, when you saw one of your favorite media uh, things die, you guys actually felt hurt. You felt betrayed. You felt like, why did why 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 did they hurt my favorite franchise? That's a parasocial relationship. I recognized it when they did to Star Wars what they did to Star Wars. And then, dude, I I I felt bad like i went through like the seven stages of grief over star wars seven or nine or whatever say there is i went i went through that over freaking star wars i had four children at that time what the hell was wrong with me the parasocial relationship i gave over my mental and emotional well-being to this thing Saying that, oh, I'm the I'm the Star Wars. I I carry the Star Wars stuff. It's so good. I just want people to love it. And they, yeah. And then years later, I was like, I looked back on that and I went, wow, wow. So, all right, let's get back to your comments.